everyone, I'm Gwen Shapiro with Confluent, and this is Monitoring Kafka with Confluent Control Center. So we're going to start by discussing why management and monitoring of your Kafka cluster is critical. We'll move on to best practices of how to monitor the health of your Kafka cluster. We'll discuss how to ensure end-to-end -end message delivery from producers to consumers. And then we will talk about how to optimize the performance of your Kafka cluster and wrap everything up with a review of everything we've learned using a real-world use case. I hope you'll enjoy the entire five-part series. We're going to talk quite a bit about monitoring, but why do we talk quite a bit about monitoring? Why is it even important? Well, in Kafka in particular, we are talking about real-time business applications, which means that they're quite interactive and people expect them to be uh, up to date. So as someone who runs Kafka, you have to be able to guarantee to the business that everything is up to date and immediately triage every problem because it's very visible to the business. Know about every problem before it even becomes a problem so you can solve it right away before anyone else notices. As a Kafka operator, you are trying to continuously improve performance. Everyone asks, is my Kafka slow? Why is my Kafka slow? Can I run more business use cases on the same Kafka? You have to be able to answer all those questions and stay ahead of business requirements uh, before things happen. So the one thing to keep in mind is that monitoring distributed systems, and Kafka absolutely is a distributed system, is quite complicated. It is not rare for a 10 to 12 person team to require someone who is full time dedicated to monitoring. So if you try to set up your Kafka monitors and like, why is this taking so much time? Why is it so involved? You have to remember that this is the normal experience and monitoring distributed systems is a challenging problem for everyone. One of the reasons it's so challenging is that Kafka has a lot of parts in it, right? You have the producers, you have the consumers. Consumers are organized in consumer groups. You have the brokers. One of the brokers is the controller. They rely on Zookeeper to do some critical things. So you have to uh, keep an eye on Zookeeper and not just Kafka. Brokers have topics in them. The topics have partitions. Each partition has replicas. One of the replica is a leader. The other replicas are followers. You have messages flying in between the producers, the replicas the followers, the consumers, you have to keep an eye on all that and make sure all of it is working smoothly second after second. So of course, this is a challenging job. So with all those many components of Kafka, there were also a lot of metrics to monitor. You have to worry about broker throughput and topic throughput. You have to worry about disk utilization. How much space am I taking? You have to worry about leader elections. Am I doing clean leader elections? Am I doing too many leader elections? You have to worry about the network usage. Am I using too much resources? You have to worry about latency. Um, is every request being processed in a timely manner? You have to worry about how fast am I writing to disk? How much time is spent in all those internal components of Kafka? Is all my replicas online? Do I have under-replicated partitions? You have a lot of things to worry about. And of course, you don't even have just Kafka to worry about. You have all those services sending messages through Kafka. So you're also responsible for them. People will ask you, did all the messages come through? You need to know if all the messages arrived and how long it took them. And if it took them too long, why did it take them so long? So you have a lot of things to keep in mind. And as such, you obviously need expert help. So Confluent Control Center was designed to help you monitor the things that really matter and to see the metrics that matter when you care about them, instead of flooding every single metric up front where they're likely to confuse you. It was written by the experts here at Confluent who have a lot of ex collective experience running Kafka in production. And we made sure that you don't get distracted, that you only see the things that you really care about and know immediately in one glance at the screen, is my Kafka okay? And if not, what should I do next? In the next section, we'll show you how to use Control Center to monitor the health of the Kafka cluster.